Good morning, MBC brethren. Today's devotional is entitled, Satisfy Your Soul. Our passage for today is in Psalm 63, 1-8. And this Psalm of David will help us answer the question, How then do we satisfy our soul? And we'll see three answers from this chapter 63. The first answer is, Seek God day and night. We'll find that in verse 1. It says, O God, Thou art my God, early will I seek Thee. My soul thirsts for Thee. My flesh longeth for Thee in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. We will see that also in verse 6 when it says, When I remember You on my bed, I meditate on You in the night watches. We will see the answer of David in this psalm. David knew who can satisfy his soul and his, his spiritual hunger. It's none other than God. Remember, this is a psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. David was in the desert. He knew what physical thirst and physical hunger were like. But he also knew and experienced spiritual thirst that only God can give when he seek God day and night. So tayo po bilang mga mananampalataya, one thing that can satisfy our soul is none other than God. That's why we need to seek Him day and night. And the second answer that we could see in this psalm is, Worship God. You could see that in verse 2. It says, To see thy power and thy glory, so I have seen thee in the sanctuary. In others' translation, it says, So here I am in the place of worship, even eyes open, drinking your strength and glory. David's spiritual hunger and thirst are satisfied as he worship God. We could see that also in verse 3 and verse 4. And it says, Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you, and I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name I will lift up my hands. In this passage, it says, David lifts his hands as an expression of adoration reverence and surrender to God. Lifting up hands is the oldest gesture of prayer, and this gesture is the radical form of worship. And David's answer that could satisfy his soul is he who worship God. To open oneself to God, to, to surrender oneself completely to God. And also, we could, we could ask this question. What do you do when you can sleep or you can you have wakeful moments in the night? David says in verse 6, and it says, When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night who watches. When David cannot sleep and we, when he has wakeful moments, David says, that he worships God and praises God. You know, as David pours his heart in worship day and night to God, David discovers this in verse 7 and verse 8. And it says, Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. As David pours his heart in worship day and night to God, David discovers strength from God and support from God. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, what can satisfy our souls? Let's worship God. Let's give Him our all, our reverence, and surrender to Him all that we can. Let's adore Him and let's praise Him 
all the days of our life. And the third answer that we could find here that would satisfy our soul is none other than the Word of God. And we could see that in verse 5. It says, My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. In other translation, the word marrow and fatness, it translated into riches of food. And David knew what it was like for his spiritual hunger to be satisfied. Why? Because spiritual food is just as real as physical food. And it satisfies us in a way that cannot be satisfied by anything physical. Spiritual hunger can only be satisfied by spiritual food. And spiritual food can only be found in God's Word. What can satisfy our soul? Let's seek God daily, day and night. Let's worship Him and let's read the Word of God. We can say this prayer today and every day. We can say to God, Lord, I seek you today. Lord, I will worship you today. Lord, I will meditate on you and your word day and night. I thank you that you can only satisfy my soul and quench my spiritual thirst. Thank you, Lord, for the strength and support. May God bless us all. Let us pray. Oh dear God, thank you again for your word. We praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.